and review articles, you know. Manuscripts sometimes, uh, journals would carry a review article. Review article fundamentally is not a study per se, but it is a report of the literature and it gives the status of what is exactly the literature and then a chronological progression of where it started the research work and how different contributions from different scientists have added, you know, evidence uh, and scientific proof for your current understanding and what needs further needs to be done. You know, that is the structure of a review article. Review article would serve as a article that would provide current up-to-date knowledge but also the background knowledge such that somebody who is reading a review article would really understand the entire literature that is as is existing. So, review articles is a is a method of understanding the literature without you going and reading about 100 articles to come to the same conclusion. Usually review articles are attempted by very senior scientists. It is preferably written by scientists who have in-depth understanding of the field. They, are, they have been reading the literature but as well as they are also contributing to the you know body of literature through the studies from their laboratory. They will have a better view of what is the literature saying and what is what they have contributed and what other people are saying if there are any contradictions or any other theories etc. They have that knowledge to write in a very precise way in the review article. Usually those people who write a review article where they have contributed from their laboratory is much more researched review article where a scientist has not contributed to the field per se, but have read the literature and reporting the literature as a review article is called a literature review article. Nowadays, what we find in the journals is more of a literature review articles and particularly by, by research students who are compiling for theses. So, they, they read lot of papers and then write an introduction to their uh, master's or PhD thesis and their supervisor says that let us publish this as a review article. So, they can publish that as a review article which has a publication value, but the exact value that review article carries for, for the individual is, um, is less, you know, because they actually report the literature as it is by listing what this person has said and what that scientist has said rather than um, you know conclude from their experience. So, in general the review articles are usually written by um, well established scientists, famous scientists who have worked a lot in that particular area and many journals would invite them to write a review article. These are referred to as invited review articles. At times, uh, some of these scientists, uh, when a particular body of information has been obtained, then they just want to review what has been found till that day and then write a what you call mini review, stat, you know, state of the art review. In some other journals, such as like annual reviews, you know reviews in pharmacology or pharmacological reviews. In that, authors would take on to review extensive literature on a particular area. So, these review articles are very long and then they have been written by citing many number of papers, you know, hundreds of papers. You know. Such review articles are very valuable for young scientists to understand uh, the exact uh, qua state and depth of uh, research in that particular area. Review articles also follow um, the journal's uh, style of writing. So, therefore, review articles does not mean that. Review articles also have an abstract. The abstract indicates what has been reviewed, what is the objective and purpose of that uh, review article, you know, that is what the abstract of a review article.